Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall declare your praise. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come, Come into, into the Lord's presence, presence, singing for joy. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, Come into, into the, the Lord's, Lord's presence, presence, singing for joy. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the, pe the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Come into, Come into the Lord's, Lord's presence, presence, singing for joy. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come into, Come into the Lord's, Lord's presence, presence, singing for joy. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us His blessing, till the ends of the earth revere Him. Come, Come into, into the, the Lord's, Lord's presence, presence, singing for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come into, into the, the Lord's, Lord's presence, presence, singing for joy. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rose up your might. O Lord, Come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears of their bread, and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies love us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, out, to plant it you drove out the nations. Before it you cleared the ground, it took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boats. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down it, its walls? It is blocked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beast of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, 
though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds, proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out our joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I save you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies will cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel, I would feed with fine sweet, and I will, and I fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future. All belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For He founded it upon the seas, 
and establish it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Please stand. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing with the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and told the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But as your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners on the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Do not be afraid. Kapag narinig natin itong salita na ito, do not be afraid. There's something, an assurance, that something good is with us. Merong maganda na mangyayari. Hindi tayo mapapahamag. Bakit? Kailan ba tayo natatakot? Ano ba ang kinakatakutan natin? Saan tayo natatakot? Sa ngayon, marami, maraming dahilan kung bakit ang tao o tayo ay natatakot. Una, 
hindi pa tapos ang pandemic. Hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari pa, kung anong susunod. Marami pang mga pangyayari, mangyayari sa buhay natin. Pangalawa, eh parang tumatanda na atang mundo. Marami ng mga natural calamities. Eh sa ngayon, naghahanda tayo dito sa Pilipinas sa darating na super typhoon. Pero sabi nila, hindi naman daw tatama sa atin. Ang tatama ay yung habagat, ulan. So saan ba tayo natatakot? Siguro yung iba hindi natatakot sa bagyo, pero natatakot sa ulan. Bakit? Kasi pagkatapos ng ulan, baha. Baha. Eh, sa dagupa na lang eh, parang little finish. Kunting ulan, baha. Ganon din sa Manila. At hindi lamang dito sa Luzon. Pag bumaba ka ng Visayas, bumaba ka ng Mindanao, baha ka rin. Di ba nakakatakot? Hindi lang ba? May lindol pa. At hindi lang lindol. May pumuputok pa na vulkan. At hindi lang yun. Dahil sa mga pangyayaring ito, apektado. Apektado ang ating negosyo. Apektado ang produksyon. Apektado ang trabaho. Kaya yung iba, pag makikita nila na yung laman ng ETM nila, ay kukunti na lang, natatakot. At certainly, nakakatakot. Saan ka kukuha? Nang kakainin mo sa susunod na araw kapag wala ka ng pera. Kaya maraming, maraming kinakatatugutan ang mga tao. Pagbalikan natin ang ating Ibanghelyo, natakot si Simon. Pagkatapos makita yung di inakala na mangyayari. Simon, Kneel down at the foot of Jesus and told Jesus, Lord, he recognized now the Lord. Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. Doon siya natakot. Sa mga pangyayari na hindi niya inakala. Bakit? Kasi una, alam niya. Nung inutusan sila ng ating Panginoon na to go further. In order to catch fish. Alam niya na wala silang nakukuha eh. Eh, o na hindi niya na-recognize. Kaya nga, sabi niya, Master. So, iba yung address niya o na. Master. We have worked hard all night and have got nothing. But there is that surrendering. But at your command, I will lower the nets. At yun, Anong nangyari? They were amazed of what they saw, of what they catch. At doon siya natakot. Natakot siya kasi hindi niya inakala na mangyayari yun sa kanyang pagkawala. Sa kanyang eksperyensya na wala silang nakukuha. But that in the presence of Jesus, 
in the presence of a person whom he recognized afterward as Lord. Doon siya natakot. Kaya, ano ang sabi ng ating Painoon? Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. It is an assurance, an assurance that there is something for him and his companion. Iba ang plano ng Diyos. Iba magplano ang Diyos. Kuminsan, hinihintay talaga ng Diyos siguro that we reach the end of our resources. Yung wala na tayo magagawa, yun lang namang hinihintay ng Diyos kuminsan upang ma-recognize natin siya. Di ba? Si for example, yung mga may sakit, yung may mga problema sa buhay, yung wala nang mapupuntahan, kahit yung mga kaibigan ay umiiwas na sa kanila, hindi na sila kalala. Kasi na, nasa lowest part of their life na. Hindi na katulad noon, masikat sila, mayaman sila, may kapangyarihan sila. Ngayon na walang wala na sila. Tuon ang simula ng kanilang pagkatapot. But then on the part of Simon, iba eh. When Jesus assured them not to be afraid, because from now on, you will be catching men. Anong ginawa nila? Iniwan nila ang lahat-lahat na sa kanila. Alam nyo, magagawa lang ng tao ito na iiwan ang lahat kung meron malaking trust sa Diyos, malaking paniniwala pananampalataya sa Diyos. If we believe and trust God, then we must not be afraid. Kasi doon eh, pinapakita ng Diyos ang kanyang presensya. Nag-surrender na si Pedro na wala sila makukuha. But then, when Jesus told him to go beyond yourself, to go beyond your expectation, to go beyond what you have, then it is there that God will feel what we do not have. Diba? Kaya kung may tiwala tayo sa Diyos, kaya nga kung may Diyos tayo sa buhay natin, hindi dapat tayo matatakot. Yung natatakot lang ay yung maliit o walang tiwala sa Diyos. Yun, matatakot ka kapag wala kang tiwala sa Diyos. Ibig sabihin, kapag wala kang tiwala sa Diyos, hindi ka naniwala sa Diyos. Yun lang. But then, we believe that we are Christians. We believe that we are children of God. Ang kailangan lamang natin 
ay paniwalaan siya. Sabi nga sa unang pagbasa, huwag kayong maniwala sa tao. Jesus' intention and His intention sa so in vain. So, the question is, natatakot ba kayo? Please stand. When our Savior says, Come, follow me, He also calls us to follow His example of prayer, to throw wide a net of prayer for others. Let us pray in that generous way. For every intention we say, Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and all who have been called to be fishers of men may have the courage and perseverance to cast their nets in deep waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That fishermen and all those who work at sea may have a harvest of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That we may have the courage to tell unbelievers the good news of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. That the Lord may touch the lives of the sick, the sorrowing, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep that those who have died in Christ may receive their eternal reward, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, help us to launch into the deep. Lord of all people, through these prayers, gather together the lives of those seeking to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits to divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be Blessed God forever. Please stand.
Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too exalt you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sundered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please stand. At the severe command and form by divine teaching, be there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I love you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, my and my soul shall be healed.
Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, Father and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give, Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, Lord and, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, the October feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. I would like also to invite uh, those who want to join the dawn procession this coming uh, first Saturday. We will resume the procession and then the dawn rosary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mass descended, let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Before we bless the sick and the religious articles, we would like to thank you for your presence and for joining us here actively and, uh, uh, during this Eucharistic celebration. So thank you very much. and. Please keep safe. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To be kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.